Is the Pentagon's new program to study UFOs a complete sham and hiding information in some of its findings from Congress? Let's find out. I'm Patrick with Vetted. Let's jump in. If you haven't already, hit that like button. Please comment down below. I try to read them all. And if you if you like our content, please hit that subscribe button. Let me show you what I'm talking about. The Good Trouble Show with Matt Ford. Honestly, I've never heard of it. Uh, but this is floating around on Twitter. Everyone's talking about it on Reddit as well, and uh, it is quite interesting. So let's jump in so you can see what I'm talking about. We're going to take a look at two parts of this. What I'm about to tell you is from a very high-ranking <clears throat> source, very high-ranking that has given us um, information that has always, always panned out. This information is significant. And in my opinion, it demands a congressional investigation into Arrow. So, everyone pay attention. When we Arrow are, was Matt. established, Ronald Moultrie also established an advisory council called Arrow Exec, or Arrow Executive Council, whose purpose was to provide oversight and guidance to Arrow and was headed by Ronald Moultrie himself. The existence of this advisory board or, uh, uh, it was, was actually it was nothing secret. Everybody knew about it on the Hill. Uh, Moultrie actually announced it in an official Pentagon memo that, that, was, that you can find on the internet. So Congress knew, knew, of its, it knew of its existence and who sat on the council. There was nothing to hide, but there has been something hidden from Congress. And here it is. When Arrow was formed by Dr. Sean Kirkpatrick, he assembled a separate secret council of advisors. A few people on Capitol Hill recently got wind of this and asked Kirkpatrick for the names of who was sitting on this secret council. Kirkpatrick refused to tell them. Why? I'll tell you why. Because some of these unelected officials who sit on this super secret advisory council are the actual gatekeepers of the legacy UAP crash recovery and back engineering program. I mean, seriously, talk about the fox guide, uh, guarding the hen house. You cannot make this shit up. And uh, Dr. Kirkpatrick, sorry to break it to you, but these officials on Capitol Hill now have the list of names that are sitting on your little secret council. Congress and congressional staffers, this is really huge. It calls into question, um, you know, what is going on at ERA? What is, who is, who is guiding it? And just real quick, um, listen, just asking questions. If that is true, that is an absolute bombshell. I mean, let's be real. That, that is, people don't trust Arrow already. All right, if you don't know what Arrow is, I'll put a link down in the description so you can find out more about it, but it's the all domain, uh, anomalous resolution office. Okay. Headed by Dr. Sean Kirkpatrick. We've covered it many times, uh, on this show and he has done some things and said some things that are, I wouldn't say suspicious. A lot of people do, but just don't add up, right. Kind of contradict each other. Um, they just released their yearly report recently. Um, and they just put out their website after a full year. Um, you know, and it's gotta be honest, very disappointing. But I will say, just asking questions here, you know, who is this guy, Matt Ford, that this high value source is going to him with this information, right? Like, I'm just saying, it's like somebody coming to us, vetted and giving us high value source. Again, I don't like that stuff. I don't want this. And, and I hope he verified this with somebody else before he came out and said this, right? Or he just took what the one source told him and he's repeating it. Right. Um, because you, you got to get multiple sources, right, to confirm. You know, so I'm a little weary of this information. Everyone's jumping all over. See, I told you era of this, that I'm going to hold back. I don't know if this is true yet. And I suggest you do the same. Right. Again. We just need to verify this. We need more verification than some high value source from this gentleman. Nothing against this gentleman. I'm sure he's a great guy. Um, he's got a, you know, he's got his own show. Okay, I get it. Respect it. Do my own thing here. But um, let's be real, right? We can't just jump on this stuff. What does high value source to him mean? What does that mean? What does high value mean to him? Right? We don't know that. Um, Again, just one person. And that's sort of the problem in this community. 
right? That's how everything comes out, this one guy. Now, that's why David Grush is great, right? And journalists like Michael Schellenberger, right? they confirm with multiple sources, you know, beyond multiple. David Grush is like 40. Uh, but again, I don't know. But if that is true, this is mind-blowing, right? That the people that are holding back all the information about the UFO programs and running these UFO programs, because there's two different types of programs, crash retrieval and reverse engineering programs, right? Reps and SEPs. I don't know if I'll say that right. <laughs> CRPs, I guess. CRPs and reps. Uh, I'm trying to give add more acronyms, guys, to, to all this madness. No, I'm kidding. Those aren't real acronyms. I just made them up right now. Um, so I don't know. We do need to confirm this. You know, I don't know. I'm curious y'all's thoughts about this um, down below in the comments. Not necessarily if you know if this is true or not, because how would you know? I don't know. Um, it's almost impossible to confirm this. I don't know unless uh, we ask Dr. Sean Kirkpatrick and what he says or a congressperson, you know, comes out and says something. Yeah, then let's let's find out. And if that is true, then absolutely, Arrow can go bye bye, right? Uh, that, it just that that would make no sense, right? So there's some secret executive advisory board than the one that's public that was set up through Congress, right? In the Pentagon, what's going on? You know, the new majestic twelve, right? Kirkpatrick's twelve, we'll call it. Um, but he has a guest on and they're going to talk a little bit about what this could mean. Um, and this person supposedly spoke to Arrow as well um, and gave some. They testified. So let's hear from them and see what they're, you know, what's going on here. This is a former United States Air Force Minuteman, ICBM nuclear launch control officer David Schindel says he reveals his experiences with Dr. Sean Kirkpatrick and what went down during his testimony to the Pentagon's program, Arrow. So, all right, so he's got experience with Arrow and testifying. That's what he's saying. Let's uh, hear from them on this. Let me jump ahead to it. And let's see a little more context because this is the rest of this I'm about to show you is not floating around on Twitter and Reddit, right? Um, so let's get a little more context. Uh, I was a bit long-winded in, in my explanation there of, of, of what we found out, and I'm just curious what, uh, what your reaction is uh, to this information that we got that, uh, that there's a, uh, a... By the way, great job on this guy's set. It looks like he's actually hosting some like late-night talk show. It's green screen, I can tell. But great job. I, I got to admit, that's, it, it, it looks good. He's got the glasses, the, the suit on, right? He's got the late night thing behind him, that vibe going. And if you, it looks like, you know, you know with Jimmy Fallon, um, that sort of show, The Tonight Show. So, you know, good for him. Uh, just a quick note, that, you know, from creator to creator. That's, it looks good. Look what I got. I got, I got my guitar in the back. My dog's running around. Uh, I'm just, you know, I don't really care. Um, as long as you could see me, hear me well enough. That's all that matters uh, to me. Anyway, um, let's continue. Secret council that uh, Kirkpatrick put together that uh, comprises of, uh, of uh, several people, two of which are, uh, were or are gatekeepers to the legacy retrieval program. Does that surprise you? Well, it is shocking to hear that because I didn't realize that, you know, Kirkpatrick had uh, this group of people who was running, the, actually running the show. Uh, I had in the back of my mind all the time that uh, Kirk Patrick uh, was working for somebody that uh, uh, that was giving him directions, but uh, I had no idea that uh, these were the gatekeepers to all this back engineering and whatever. So, uh, yeah, it's it's surprising to me. I, yeah, I I was uh, I have to say I was pretty shocked when uh, when this info was shared. So, um, you know, you know, we have our, some viewers here that are not familiar with your, with your case. I think probably most people that have been tracking the UFO issue. So there we go. I don't know. Again, um, yeah, that is shocking, right? Um, if you want to watch the rest of this whole episode, I'll put a link to it so you can see the entire thing. Um, I didn't watch this interview. I'm sure it's fascinating. There's just so many podcasts and interviews to watch y'all. 
Um, but that is shocking. I, I do want to see what more comes out about this. If another source, right? Multiple sources, because just this is the worry in the UFO community. How does Matt, I'd like to know from Matt is how, how does he know he's not being fed information to see if he'll spread it, right? So um, is it a high value source within the government? Or does he just consider another journalist a high value source? Um, someone ex, you know, government official. Um, you just got to be careful of that stuff because it's quite an allegation. Okay. He didn't say allegedly, right? Matt's got to be careful. He didn't say allegedly. He said, this is true and this is what's happening. I mean, I'm just saying there's some legal issues there for him. If, if the government wanted to, if it wasn't true, if they could verifiably pr prove that that's not true. Um, so th he should say his source is claiming and this and, and you know, maybe he did word it that way. Uh, but, you know, just be careful. Uh, that's all I'm saying. We, we need to verify this stuff. But if it is true, yes, it's shocking. And, outright, you know, Darrow should be dismissed and definitely something's going on. Right. But we first have to confirm that these reverse engineering programs and crash retrieval programs are happening. Now, David Grush says they are, but we haven't seen that evidence. He has. And he would definitely understand that people that had it don't believe it yet. Right. You think David Grush is just going around taking people's word? No, he needed to see evidence himself. Why should we be any different? Right. I promise if you look up to David Grush, I know some of you guys look up to these people in the UFO community. I'm not particularly like that, but you do you. No problem. Um, they would respect you more if you had a line in the sand. Like, hey, I need to see some stuff. I appreciate what you're doing, and I want to see you through to the end. Right? But we do need to see some stuff. Because for me, David Grush is the one to pay attention to in his testimony. But... Yeah, at the end of the day, we're going to need to see some stuff. And it may not be David Grush's fault that we don't eventually. Because the guy has, in front of Congress, testimony, right, under oath, said, I'll give it to you. Let's go. We need a skiff, and I will give you this information, and you can go check it out. So he is trying, and he did give it to the Inspector General, right, to look into it. They did their own verification of his witness list and sources and and all of that and the documents he has so you know they deemed it credible so that is something to say so anyway yeah if this is real it's it is a bombshell it, it absolutely is but it's too early to tell in my opinion so let's wait and see what comes out of this i'm sure more information will come out on this this week um and we'll see it's interesting that it's dropping on a sunday right just ready for the new week um, I'm just saying, when did he hear this? How long did he wait before he repeated it? Matt Ford, that, that's what we need to find out from Matt is, is some of this information. Are there multiple sources? Who did, you know, doesn't have, obviously doesn't have to reveal a source if he doesn't want to, but who is this source? Was it multiple sources? Was it at least someone in the government, outside the government, private person? What does high value mean to you? And when did you get this information? Right. Because it's all coinciding with the new report that just came out. But yeah, if it is true, we need to dismantle Arrow. That's that's the truth. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, again, hit that like button, comment down below. Please subscribe if you want. The content's for you. Uh, check out the videos. I did two live streams over the weekend. One about Kurt Jai Mongol and Jesse Michaels interview that they did on theories of everything. Phenomenal. And then I did the first part of my sort of deep dive into Bob Lazar. Um, and that's been very back and forth, y'all. Um, uh, people either love that guy or, or just, you know, don't. Right. Uh, there's no in between uh, with him for a lot of people. So he's very divisive. Um, so anyway. Thank you guys again for watching. We'll see you guys next time on Vetted. Remember, every day's a gift. Peace, y'all.